features especially here I get a lot of um, puffiness in this area so I like to use this to like get rid of that before I apply my makeup and also long term it really does improve the texture of your skin it makes it plump um, stimulates collagen and I feel like when I do it with a good oil put oil, moisturizer, then oil, and then I gloss off. Um, it makes my skin look very glassy, which is cool. With this side, you go like this, and um, it stimulates collagen as well, and it does make them look bigger. Natural, natural lip filler. And then this is my favorite one on your eyebrows. It's like this. It's so nice. So, first step. For this look, um, I always do a foundation. Um, I like a rather full coverage. Coffee. And the one I use is Dior Forever Skin Glow. And I, I like this one because I use, as far as skincare goes, before I do my makeup, I always do moisturizer and an oil. I, I like my skin to be fairly oily because I do have dry skin, and so sometimes when I put foundation on my dry skin, it um, gets a little dry and cakey, I guess. So I like this one because it it's um, skin glow, so it you know, has like a dewy finish, and then I don't do... Um, powder over it. I just take like a foundation brush and usually I would use concealer too under my eyes but um, unfortunately the one I have is very dark and it's just like does not work. I kind of just do an all over. Get the concealer lips going because we're going to be doing a uh, a uh, lipstick, lip liner, whatever, and um, you want them to be covered first. And then after I take this brush, because I feel like this brush, or I mean just any foundation brush, leaves like a texture. See? There's like a texture to it. Um, so I like to take my beauty blender after and wet it and then um, kind of just go over like how you would applying it with the beauty blender.
kind of just to blend it. it's better usually I go into the eyes now um, for this particular look I like to use like a like red tones or like pinky mauvey anything that resembles like a natural bruise tone or like a dark circle tone you could do a purple but sometimes I feel like pur purples sometimes so dark and it gets a little um, aggressive looking um, and since we're just doing basically one color all over the eyes and under the eyes I like to use a brush like this it's just it's honestly I think it's a highlight brush but I just use this so the original color that I used for this look was um, I believe it's called Red Ochre it's in the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette and that was like the OG color for this look because it's like a nice natural red but um, now I like to use Lolita so I just like this a couple dabs dabs um, on the brush and it just goes straight in on the eye and go pretty much all over and then do a little blending and since this is like to follow the natural um, concave shape of my eye socket because then I feel like it resembles more of like a tired tired black eye-ish look rather than eyeshadow because we're going for like a natural natural shape naturalish And don't be afraid to like really get under your eye, like take it down pretty far. See, it really comes onto the bridge of my nose there, so I'm just gonna like erase a little bit so it's less aggressive and intense. Okay, so that's pretty much the extent of the eyeshadow. It's so easy. Usually I go in and do my bronzer now. Sometimes I don't do bronzer just to give it the more I'm hollow and pale and a little bit dead look but today i'm gonna do bronzer oh there's eyelashes in here cute i guess i'll use these today Alrighty. so i use hula the use the pops and then i use this like angled brush to get in there so i learned this new technique for um contour where you place it higher up on your cheekbones like instead of doing it here like where my cheekbones are under them you do it higher up like kind of on top of the cheekbones and it's supposed to um, make your cheekbones look higher but I don't know how successful I am at this
just for a, a little subtle contour. And then usually I like to do a little bit um, on my hairline. For winged eyeliner, I actually use a pencil. So I go like that. And then what I do is I take my finger and I drag it out so it it creates a nice swan like you know. And then um, I'll take, after I do the liner on the top, I like to take a little eyeshadow brush and go in with like a brown colored eyeshadow or like your bronzer. Typically I like to use like a darker brown. I don't really have any in here. Mm, so I'll just use this one. And then I go um, on the bottom lash line and uh, darken it a bit just a tiny bit and this is like a brownish mauve color or it can be brown it can just just anything that's darker than um, the original color we put on so add a little depth like that because then I go back in with this uh, eyeliner and go on the lash line, bottom lash line. Just, a just like drag it across so it's like that and then we're gonna blend it out a little bit. And then we take the same brush we did the uh, darker color and then we blend that. So a little, a little more depth on the bottom. And then we can go in and put our lashes on. So as far as lashes go, I get like a normal set of lashes as long as they have a bit of a taper in the um, front corner. And then I cut them in half and then I just use the front corner lashes. So, I mean, I'm reusing these, so. Huh. So they're already cut. So see how they're super short little dummies. So you just put that on the edge of your eye. I use this black glue darker duo. And I like to put a tiny bit of mascara on before I glue the lashes on just so it has something to like stick to. Just so they accent like the uh, the swoop of the eye, the cat eye. Love that. Okay, and then once lashes are on, you can go back 
over them with a little mascara just to like pull everything together. And then mascara on bottom lashes. Next and last step, we're going to do a nude lip. So here's the look. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do it, tag me or send me a photo of yourself looking beautiful in this and um, cheers. And a fragrance that goes great with this. I like to layer Santal and Doson because they're both gorge. And this one's like more feminine but still sexy. And um, this one's like more unisex, but uh, unforgettable. They're both unforgettable. But I like to layer those. I think it's great with this look because it's mysterious and everyone's like, what's that smell? And then they see your makeup and they're like, I need you in my life. Okay, bye. <laughs>